Iranian political analyst and former diplomat Javed Korbanagli has, in a Monday editorial published in Shark Daily, referred to Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif's statements made last week who stressed that, if the U.S. leaves the nuclear accord, Iran will think of withdrawing from the deal with the P-51 group along with other options. Corbinugli stresses in this article that it is clear the new sanctions the Congress is likely to impose on Iran is a violation of the JCPOA, which means that Washington has broken down the international agreement. The commentator discusses what should be done against such a decision by the United States that was one of the most important and influential members of the P-51 group during the nuclear talks. Corbinugli also weighs in on what Iran's reaction should be. There are two ways of reaction to the possible U.S. breach of the deal. A group of people believe that Iran must respond in a strong way and resume its nuclear program as quickly as possible. They say we knew from the very beginning that the United States will not adhere to the deal and we must resume our nuclear activities with our full potential and return to the pre-accord situation as soon as possible. In contrast to this view, the other ones believe that Iran must stand up to any U.S. action and by treading the path it is already taken, mobilize the world against Washington's unilateral decision through an active diplomacy. The author then emphasizes that under the current circumstances, Trump's stance has isolated the U.S., and contrary to the pre-accord conditions, when the whole world was against Iran, now the international community is against the United States. It seems that the Islamic Republic has come to the conclusion it should avoid any action that may be taken as breach of the deal by Tehran. At the end, Corbinugli suggests that Iran must firmly insist it is fully committed to the accord and adheres to it, and let the other signatory states decide on a clear violation of the agreement by the Washington. This stance will affect the world's public opinion, and the consequences of any action by Tehran in the event of U.S. violation would put the finger of blame on the White House and the Congress. The author concludes that Trump stands today as a result of his nervousness which is quite to the benefit of the Islamic Republic.